So if you didn't know, countries have different variants of their national flag when they're sometimes in the middle of a war. Hence the name, War Flags, obviously. And there are very few nations that actually have one of these, and we honestly don't see it that often because it's not like they're fighting all the time anyways. But the ones that do are still pretty interesting. I found this video that it seems like a lot of you are enjoying. Definitely go check it out. Now, there are different types of War Flags as well. So this one is specifically used by an Air Force. So Bolivia's Air Force War Flag, it actually looks very similar. There's not much of a difference at all. I don't even think I would notice a difference if you put it in front of me. Brunei put swords on- I mean, yeah, that seems like the right idea. Put some swords on there when you're in a fight. Interesting that Cambodia just kind of shifts over to the corner. It's out the three stars. Ninja stars, maybe. I think this one is the most shocking. The fact that Canada has one of these. I wasn't expecting that from Canada. Remember, they are undefeated in battle, technically. They've never lost, so maybe it's the flag. I don't know. Now, I had to look this one up because I didn't believe it. This doesn't look real to me. I don't, I don't know why. Like, I, I just kind of surprised to see it. I don't even know what this is, but it is actually true. It was adopted in 1949, and those symbols are actually characters, and it means 8-1. These mean 8-1. I couldn't tell you anything else about that, though. Then they actually have different ones depending on the branch of military. Here's the ground force flag, the navy, the air force, the rocket force. They still keep this up there, just with different strips down and below. Now, I actually kind of like Georgia's a lot. I, I kind of wish this was their permanent flag. Georgia, maybe you should, like, fight somebody just so we can have this all the time. I think we should also be forced to recognize this flag when they are using it, like the entire international community. You gotta fly this one. You're out of date if you're flying this one. I've seen a lot of swords on these specifically. Okay, I didn't know where we were gonna go. I thought Japan would be on the list, and uh, it seems to be a, a bit different. I figured though they probably weren't gonna want to fly the old one just because the, the memories and it aged like milk. I knew I was gonna like some of these. Oh, it's not official, but I knew I was gonna like some of these more than like the actual country flag. Whoa, hold up. Burma just becomes Luxembourg with a star on it. Now that's epic. Never thought I'd see these two countries come together. Portugal shaves off the sides and it becomes like more of a Swiss ratio flag. Whoa, Russia going old school. I like the throwback. It's like a sports team putting on old uniforms just to bring up the past. I like this. What's weird is like historically, Russia wasn't that powerful. It'd be cooler if they threw back to the USSR though, I gotta admit. There we go. Now we're just messing with ratios in general. I'm all about triangle flags. I think we need more of them. Let's get more exciting like Nepal's flag. Serbia again with the square format. I wonder why the square. Is it easier to produce material just in case like resources are running thin during the conflicts? Don't want to be wasting all this valuable cloth and thread on making like a nice proper ratio flag. Well, that took me a second to realize what Sri Lanka changed. I didn't even see a change for a second. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, thank- okay, here's an example of one that gets worse. I I think. Sorry, Ukraine. What's up with his color, though? That's a weird one. I like the throwback to the old icon. I know that's like a famous symbol for him. So this is for army use only. Bangladesh gets a little bit less, uh, simple. A little bit less copyright claims from Japan, I guess. Oh, that's kind of interesting. That does like some sort of optical illusion, Taiwan. I'm okay with this. Looks like I'm watching a TV with the sun in it. Georgia becomes Denmark! Kind of. Not perfectly, but it's basically... I like how Malaysia has a little watermark, like a British watermark, and then throws something completely new over there. Also, nice drop shadow. Oh, okay, so they have different versions for different branches of the military, too. Myanmar does. Let's go, Poland. I like this reference. Maybe trying to think about space with the flying bird there. Weird to have a war flag, South Korea, that has flowers in it. I don't know about this, but all right. Also, Pepsi logo gets a little bit smaller. Sorry, Thailand, but I prefer the OG one. That's kind of different, Turkey. Okay. Again, I would love more throwbacks. Like, let's do the Ottomans for Turkey. What the UK has? I didn't know about this. Nam just puts this here. What? I wonder what that means. It's Vietnamese for determined to win. Just to remind people, because the regular flag doesn't do that, I guess. The US has one, and uh, it's also kind of a throwback. 1775 for the army. So here's the last branch for the navy specifically. Again, Bangladesh with the watermark. I wonder, is it actually like kind of weirdly um, squished like that? That's not a perfect, that's like oval. Why does it become an oval instead of a circle? I like it, Finland. I, it's, it's different. Change it up. Singapore also with the uh, ninja throwing star. So it, it seems like a common thing to be putting it in the corner. I guess that makes sense. Oh, and Sweden has something similar. So do the Nordic countries all do similar things with their war flags? Oh, I'm getting a very Finnish vibe from Ukraine, but it's all right. I like that. Oh, this is the final one. These are the ones that double as state flags. Yep, that's pretty iconic. Seen that everywhere. That doubles as a state flag? Okay, Legoland. Okay, Germany. Okay, you know, Germany's a great example of like throwback 
flags that maybe we shouldn't be doing. The Nordic countries really must coordinate something together because, yeah, there, there's got to be something. Is there a meeting every year to have, like, perfectly, you know, in line flags? Perfect synchronization. National flag of the Philippines when flown upside down when it shows a state of unrest. Oh, that's kind of cool. It seems like a bad thing, though, to fly your flag upside down. Very useful, though. You don't have to print all new flags. Speaking of flags, Jamaica is the only national flag without red, white, or blue. And they include green, black, and yellow. Those are some different colors included in them. I'm always for just doing different colors. Chicago's teacher's flag, which could be misinterpreted as like a Apple facility based in Chicago. Or I feel like this could double as like a doctor's flag, like an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Although I don't know why the doctors would be flying that. This doesn't even look like it was designed intentionally to be a flag. This looks like it'd just be a, a normal sort of thing. Looks tasty though. So Montenegro apparently loves really big flags. They just throw massive flags everywhere. And that's pretty cool. Like if you were proud of it, I would throw it everywhere too. I mean, it does get a little crazy sometimes. I mean, on the side of a huge building like this, I guess it's good to remind people where they are. Maybe they hit their head or something. I feel like if we're going to coordinate everyone to have a certain flag style, I, I could get behind this Japan style flags for everyone. It's so simple, but yet so beautiful. I mean, maybe we should go a little bit more complicated than just a dot though. But here are all the German states in the Japanese style. It'd probably get a little boring though. Like these are so simple that Maybe it's a little too much. Also, it looks like this place has great Wi-Fi signal. USA in the style of Venice. Now, this should definitely be a flag. Maybe for, like, our naval uh, trading ships, since we're going with, like, the Venice theme. Cargo ships that are out in the ocean should fly this, I think. What if Perspective had his own flag? I like this. I've seen things like this. These are, like, the old uh, 80s sort of vaporwave flags, I think. that's They all have this. Or at least in some sort of style. Here's a Brazilian version of that. Here's a French flag that got so old it turned into a Romanian flag. This was captured in Malta in the 1800s and it is massive. I wonder why they were even doing this. Why were they building these big old flags? I get Montenegro doing it nowadays. But why in the 1800s? Was this to signify what France was about to unleash on the earth because France was going to get really big too around this time? A couple years after. We should do this more often like deteriorate flags and see what it evolves into. So apparently Big Bang Theory has a flag. This flag was in their apartment and uh, it's a ripoff of this region in Ukraine. It is very similar. I wonder if were they specifically looking to rip off this region in Ukraine or did they just throw this like lion and a blue background and it just so happens to be close. I don't know. A flag for five guys, burgers and fries. See, flags are the best when you don't even know they're a flag. They It looks like they would actually have this just randomly as a wallpaper throughout the entire store. All right, Ukraine, this is pretty epic. We've been talking a lot about Ukrainian flags. This one's got to be my favorite. This one is looking really cool. Surprised you guys still have something like this though. I like this design just extending the normal Belarus flag, giving it this like sort of red white strip. Oh, and I guess historically speaking, Belarus actually did do this red strip. You're just including the design that they have in it nowadays. Yeah, and I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of the green. Where's the green come from? Talking about Myanmar a lot too. This is a pro-democracy one. I guess the peacock is a famous animal for uh, this country and it looks stunning. This is actually really good. Here's an 1833 guide to banner flags used by English and French forces. I've seen that one before. King Henry V. Oh, look at this. Saint Edmund kind of with the same sort of famous French style. Just put the crown over it. Saint George, Saint Edward. Wait, this wasn't made by the French though. This is an English flag. That could be very confusing. That is super misleading. Um, I think it's time to copy strike them, France. There are various Japanese interpretations of the US flag seen on American black ships. So this is in like Japanese art from back in the day. They got the strips right. But remember, this is a different time. So I don't know what stars they would have been seen or how many stars. Okay, so this art interprets it as just Austria. The U.S. is basically Austria. That's gonna be confusing if Austria randomly comes to Japan, though. This is art, though. I mean, I mean they're not really trying to make it, like, exact, right? It's try to make it all for the aesthetic, I think. Here we go. Here's something kind of similar. Wait a second. I just realized, was the U.S. naval ships flying different you know, variants of the U.S. flag too. That's something I might not be considering. Probably, actually, now that I think about it. Was this when the U.S. came to Japan and said, hey, open up, stop having it closed? I wonder if there's more of this, like more weird art interpretations of flags from back in the day. And as soon as I say that, bam, here's a painting in 1861. You're in a pretty tough time. This is actually incredible. How have I never seen this before? I like this one. The embers flying off as the stars. Flag of the Grand Duchy of Moscow. Are the stars supposed to be like randomly pointed. This doesn't look like it's 
this is right. Here's an alternative flag for the Welsh colony of Argentina. So were there a bunch of Welsh people that went to Argentina? This man's actually flying it though. It's it's really happening. Wait, how did Wales get to Argentina? Argentina just has some of the craziest European population. I do kind of like the dragon style though. A little bit less complicated than the real Welsh flag. Flag shirt. I didn't know we could have a flag shirt. Imagine having all the flags though. We need to get all the flags. This was probably insanely difficult to do actually now that I think about it. How do you even put the design for something like this in Serbia just to print it so small like that. That's really good. Nordic Maryland. I already like the Maryland flag, but this is if uh, the Nordic people colonized it, which definitely was possible. They were close to doing that. There's a flag of Ecuador that apparently belonged to this guy's great, great grandfather when he governed the province of Azulale in the 40s. I like that this is not just a regular cloth flag. Like it looks like there's a lot of detail that was put into that. I'd be afraid to clean it. Like I want to say clean it, but maybe that's probably not for the best. It's more authentic when it's not actually. Maybe don't do that. Someone is suggesting Ohio, which it is all Ohio, should organize their stars. Right now, it's kind of all over the place. Maybe they should do it in a circle like this. This is looking like a space flag for Ohio though, which they probably should have since I said like the entire universe is Ohio. This is giving me so much merch ideas. Like uh, what? why have I never done something like this before? I need to make my own flag though first. Hold on. What school project was this? Someone was tasked with redesigning a United States flag. That's a cool class. I'm trying to think what class would that even be for? Government? US history? This is super well made. I would have not done, I barely put this much effort into anything. I didn't even read books in high school. I was just using Spark the tragedy of the Chattanooga flag. The old flag looking pretty good, very Tennessee-like, and now it's this, which I mean, they probably needed to, you know, change it up. They didn't want to be a direct. I get why they had to do it, I guess. This happened in 2012. No, never mind. But there's probably some sort of historic thing behind it, I guess. There had to have been a reason. Serbia in the style of California. Now, this is pretty cool. I really like this. I'm surprised that they don't actually have this. Hold on, Serbia. Uh, your real flag is pretty good too, but this is cool. Why is this giving me like Imperial Germany vibes? Like a Poland ball version of Imperial Germany. You know, he's always drawn like super long. Both of these images are actually giving me the same horrifying aesthetic vibe. I'm kind of afraid of turning into this, but with the amount of people like sending me their flags through my PO box, like I think it's only a matter of time before like I I'm going to become this. You got to hang them up though. You got to have them everywhere. This is the Montgomery, Alabama, my birth state and birth city actually. Home flag. Hail Caesar. There's a random Caesar sort of Roman icon right here. I don't even want to begin to think why they did that, but all right. Here's a flag for the Estonian island that I do not want to pronounce because I don't think that's going to go very well. This is cool. I like when they keep like somewhat of the aesthetic of the like, you know, the actual country uh, that the state is in. Just like throw some twists in there. May who knows? Maybe they'll adopt your like little variant as the main one. If it's so good, maybe. I don't know. United States in the style of the Soviet Union. We've got an air. Why, why these icons though? But still pretty cool. I'm surprised they didn't do like a money sign for capitalism. Wait a second. Did Pocatello finally update the worst voted flag in US? history. This looks pretty cool. They kind of might get, again, copyright striked by another country that has Himalayan mountains, but who cares if you had to rip someone off? Anything is better than this abomination. Like, I'm just so glad that we don't have to look at this. I can't even imagine, like, having this fly at the Capitol building or something. I love how massive the copyright claim is right there, too. Like, it's not even in small print. Why was that kept on there, too, for so long? What? Like, why? Was this an updated version, actually? Because that looks... A little bit different. They did maybe change it once. Californian flag, I feel, is a lot cooler whenever you, like, fuse it with something else. Like, all these are pretty epic. These are all South Asian countries in the flag of California. I like this Indian one. You can just tell it's India. You can actually just get the vibe of a, a lot of them. Problem is you gotta pick an animal for one place and... Uh, are there always a national animal picked by these states? Another artistic one, July 1830. These three flags represent the French July Revolution. Imagine just like blood stain on your flag. Now that'd be original and I'd kind of like it. Got to give them credit for that. Got to give them extra points. A random Space Force flag actually spotted in the wild. I didn't even know the Space Force flag existed. United States Space Force and someone actually found it. They're actually flying it now. I guess it's okay. It's not bad. Interesting to look at in real life. It must be really hard to design flags because no matter what, everyone's going to have their own opinion and some people are just going to hate it and there's always going to be people critiquing what the style is and everything like me. Thanks to the February patrons. France doesn't exist. Rumel 57. I'm about a nut. The Glen Council. Thick Boy 3000. Stormtrooper 501. Rolsey Tree. Aryan After Hours. Hobsnitz. Polovsky. Patrick C. Manny Manny 74. Mac. Luxembourg Lover. Fusion Wolf. Full Sand Nick. Epi Nick. Elijah Senpai. Dalton D. 
Any Kitty. And Ballin' Like Stalin'.